Hello everybody. Hey, it's Robert Earl out here at the Eco Ranch in Far West Texas and we're going to do video number three about finishing the hen house. Now, I'm sitting in the hen house and I'm sitting on the, um, the wall that we finished. If you can hear me over that cluck head. Uh, anyway, the wall that we finished in the last video. Now, I just want to tell you what I'm going to do and then we'll just, uh, since I, I can't do time lapse and can't do all that fancy stuff these other people do with my camera, I suppose I could learn and I could do it all, but I don't have time. I've got to build all, i got to build this. i got to build a 9,000 square foot place. I can't worry about that. And if you want the fancy music and the fading in and out and, and special um, editing, there's lots of people out there that are doing it and, and, and trying to get money for it. I don't, I'm not even trying to get money for this. I want you to learn. So let me show you what we're going to do and then we'll get started. And hopefully, um, hopefully I'll be able to show you the finished product in this video, uh, at least the nest boxes. Then we've got to move on to finishing these walls. We'll tell you about that next in the next video, which will be number four. This is number three and hang on. All right, part of what we're going to accomplish today is uh, uh, getting the bases going for uh, uh, several things. Now what you're looking at right here is the form for the um, the feed bin. I'm actually going to make a double walled bottle feed bin that's going to go up oh I think somewhere around seven feet and um, maybe not quite seven. I'll finish it. Uh, um, I have to measure it right, right to get the exact measurements right now, but I think it's about seven feet. And what we do is we pour the fresh feed in the top. The oldest feed's gonna come out the uh, bottom by gravity. And when we need feed, we just lift the door up. So that's the footing for that, or the base. And that's got to, it's got to tie into the rest of these walls for uh, stability. So that's why it's there now. And the, uh, the, the beer cans, somebody's probably going to ask about the uh, beer cans. I use that for fill on the inside where there's, where there's not going to be any, uh, where the weight isn't going to be. The load-bearing weight is right here on the outside, oh, 12 inches. And that is solid, but the inside is just cans to fill. So then, over here we're going to get wine bottles and set the wine bottles at, at 15 inch centers. And so that will make each each one of my nest boxes 12 inches. We we'll go 15, 15, 15. Not sure what's going to happen in this corner here. I have nest. Um, I have a nest box in the corner. That'll be number 17. So there's eight on this side, and eight on this side. So let's get to placing that, and I think you'll see a little better what I'm doing. Well, I'm back, and I'm ready to go on to the next step here. Now, what I've done is I have all the bottles set up that are dividing, they're supposed to divide each one of the nest boxes. There's, uh, um, I think, 16 of them, and then I still have to split the one um, nest box in the corner. I finally decided, I'd mentioned uh, earlier, that I didn't know what I was going to do. I'm actually going to split, split it into two rather large, oddly shaped nest boxes. But, I've got my metal forms here. I should be able to form the, the, the the cement over this and then just slide these out. Bottles are on the ground. We're using bottles that are about 12 inches and hopefully um, everything will go pretty easily. Let's see what happens. I'll uh, be back and show you in a minute. Well, it's a fresh day around here, although I'm still in the same clothes it looks like, but no, I've just, I, I buy these things in bulk and I get all the same color. But we're done uh, uh, with the first three getting them at least formed in. Now we come to the next three. Now you'll notice these three started to move. You see this one moved a bit. I just left it there because the, the, ultimately the chickens don't care how it looks and it really won't show. But to avoid that over here I put additional bracing in so these the rest of the time now they'll stay uh, straight. These are still fragile. They're green but they're fragile even if they weren't green so they have to have additional bottles put on an additional uh, mortar. Now my mortar mix, I've said this many times, is more of a cement mix. So once I get that on, it will be strong, uh, uh, strong enough to hold, well, the chickens at least. I don't know if I can stand on it, and I probably won't as I finish the bottle wall, but it'll be strong enough to, to for um, the chickens. We'll finish it up two bottles high, so it'll roughly be about here, and that'll be a um, uh, that'll be an additional roosting spot for them. So. Mix up some mortar, do these next three. I'm doing three a day. There's 18 to do, so that's six days. One day's done. I've got five more days worth of work to do on these. We'll probably cut ahead um, 
because you don't need to see me do every three, but I thought you'd want to see at least these. So um, we'll move forward from there, and I'll see if there's another segment to this or whether I'll say bye. Well, I'm all set. Got my uh, got my mortar ready. Got to get my gloves on correctly, and we're going to go ahead and strengthen these three and cover these three. That's all I can do today. Um, I'm a little short on mortar, so that's all I can do. Otherwise, I certainly could finish the base on the uh, feed bin and work on these walls. But I'm short on mortar for a couple of days, so we're going to do other things. Uh, and I'll get these um, nest boxes done, and you'll see the finished nest boxes. Um, because it's boring if I just keep showing you, look, I did three more, I did three more. But I will leave this on, and then I'll cut it uh, so that you can at least kind of watch what I do as I work on these right here for now. So, here I go. Well, I have finished the, the um, six nest boxes. I have uh, set some bottles on top. I um, have pointed the joints. That means going in here and finishing them to add strength and beauty to it. I'm still deciding what to do with the um, top. I'll tell you about that in just a second, but let me, uh, let me show you what we've done today. Here are the six nest boxes. Number six on the end has a piece of um, OSB uh, supporting it so I could at least get it finished pretty much. Set the bottles up. You'll notice I didn't take any care in making the bottles straight. Uh, that's because I have a choice in doing this. I can either make it a construction project or I can make it a work of art. Now making it a work of art allows me to be able to say to people when they say, gosh, why'd you do it that way? I can say, I meant to do that. <laughs> You can see the pointing in between makes them pop out. Each bottle pops. I think what we'll do up here is um, the same thing as I did on the uh, capstones here. We'll just level it off with the mortar and set the stones in and that'll give the, um, the birds a uh, place to roost at night. So, uh, we'll bring, I'll come back in a couple of days. Uh, this is still going to be part four. But I'll come back in a couple of days when I've got it finished, show you that, and then finish it out with capstones. Well, about eight days have passed, and uh, the nest boxes are finished. And we're about to close out this, seg this segment. This is segment three. I'd mentioned four in the earlier, um, uh, the earlier cut. This is segment three, not segment four. Segment four is what I'm going to start. Thought I'd let you see how the nest boxes turned out. I got some hay in them. I've got them all ready for the chickens to use. Now all they got to do is figure out they want to use them. So let me show them to you. All right, here they are, completely finished, pointed, and I have capstones on the top. You can see I did my corner in two. I had said initially I might do one, but I did the corner in two. The entrances are a little bit tight, uh, but the chickens can still get in them. And there we go. 
Each one I put a little bit of some lousy, horrible alfalfa hay in because the horse doesn't want to eat it. The corner units. A little look at the capstones. They will roost up here, I know they will. And there's a look at the finished nest boxes. Now you can see no two are alike. Um, and I was kind of joking when I said, well, I've got a choice. I can do it in a construction manner or I can do it in an artsy manner. Well, that's just an excuse for saying, well, it didn't turn out exactly like I wanted, so it's a piece of art. I think it looks good. You guys let me know. Anyway, so we'll close this segment out, segment three. We're going to start segment four. Segment four is just going to be about building those walls up so the chickens can get in. And segment five, there will be five, will be about me getting it finished out and putting the chickens in. So on to segment four. Until then, hey, it's Robert Earl out here at the Eco Ranch. Take care. Bye for now.